Crime scene crews hope to spare relatives and others more trauma. From bloody walls to houses desecrated by too many cats, gruesome and bizarre can be part of a day's work. The Oklahoman's Robert Medley has more. He reports crime scene crews show up shortly after the most horrific traumatic time in people's lives. These specialists, like Sean Small, clean up scenes that may have the smell of death or pools of blood. Being able to do a service that shouldn't be performed by the families, uh, not just that they, they can't or that there are you know, things that could hurt them, uh, but just the emotional aspect of it and that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something that the family shouldn't be burdened with. And there's where we come in and, and you know, we can do the job right the first time and uh, possibly take that uh, emotional traumatic event, make it lesser uh, for the families and friends or loved ones that might find themselves uh, facing this situation. In public places, firefighters are usually the first crime scene cleanup crews. In Oklahoma City, firefighters respond to traumatic scenes daily. The most common ones are car wrecks. Fire crews use disinfectant chemicals and water to hose down blood at car wrecks, suicides, and sometimes homicides in public places. Anytime we respond on a scene where there's the potential for hazardous uh, hazards left behind due to body fluids or, or contaminants. We'll do everything we can do, especially if it's in the public right away to mitigate the scene. In this case, uh, there was the hazards from the blood and also another significant hazard of uh, being traumatic for someone from the public to view the scene. So of course we'll do anything we can do to mitigate the scene before we leave.